stages, but some teams, Ready, Chris, gentlemen. already Ready. exceeding expectations. How do they keep that momentum? How do they keep things rolling along in that way? Uh, you, you have to do that in the locker room and in practice. Mm. You have to make sure that you stick to the coach's rules and roles. And you have to remember your success was built and predicated upon doing it the right way. And so how do you make sure you keep that focus, you pay attention to details, and especially the little things, and stick with the basics? Ah, good stuff. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So for Toronto right now, Kyle Lowry and Danny Green are the guards in. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Siakam in a power forward. And he makes both free throws. Chris Dunn taking fifth overall back in 2016. Didn't break through in his rookie season with the Wolves. He's getting more opportunity here in Chicago. Used the screen and took it all the way. And did you see the screen that was set for him? I mean, that was how he got to the hoop. It was the classic screenplay. It won't show up in the box score, but that screen deserves an assist. Yeah, guys, and his teammates love it. Got to get him a few big pats on the back. Now Lopez following the miss by Kyle Lowry from deep. Green against Dunn. In the corner, it's Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. You know, didn't need two hands for that slam. One will do just fine. Oh, you're right. He can save the other hand for the next shot. <laughs> Dunn outside. Ford is a screen on low. Here's Dunn. Siakam pulls it in. The Raptors have gone two or three here to start out the game. Outside, Green, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Dunn kicks to Levine. And again, Chicago, no good. And David Aldridge spoke with Nick Nurse. David. Well, Kevin, the crucial aspect in his mind is making things tough for them inside. He said they're a physical team, and they bring a lot of intensity. We don't respond when they push us. We'll just get bullied all game. We're going to get down in the paint tonight, Kevin. Back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. Not getting anything to fall here early. Four straight misses to start the game. And he's got the athleticism and strength to be a powerful presence inside. Leonard never afraid to get in and mix it up down low. Now, here's Portis. Offensive rebound. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Lowry has the open look. No good on the three. Chicago trailing here. Last season, the Bulls were very perimeter oriented on both ends of the floor. Offensively, top 10 and threes. Oh, oh, oh. That's what I'm talking about right there. Right there. Got to give Levine some love. Many of the dunks he pulls off are just flat out nasty. And a terrific bit of chaos there on the replay presented by the Under Armour Hover Havoc. Green, the screen. This one for three. It's hauled in by Dunn. Leonard draws the double and stolen by Valentine. Here's Portis. Almost, but it rolls out. The Raptors have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. With the teardrop, rebound by the Bulls. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks, And they couldn't get stops when they needed to. The opposition just too comfortable shooting the basketball. And that's what can happen on the road. You have to be aggressive and try to disrupt them out of their normal routine. To the middle, here's Lowry. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Lowry's got his first points of the night. And his touch inside more than makes up for Lowry's lack of size he's a terrific finisher in the paint and doesn't miss many once he gets in tight and the first time out of the game called for chicago yeah you know some other shot selection some just bad luck and they just can't get anything going well this is the dilemma as a coach you wonder do i need to call a timeout here do i need to settle these guys down should i let them play through here's what chicago's 
going with right now. Felicio's check in for Lopez. Arkanen comes in for Bobby Portis. And Jabari Parker subbed in for Chris Dunn. The Bulls have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor. Something I'm sure they are making a point of emphasis. And the dirt comparisons, are, they're understandable. Markkinen is a big man who can shoot for days. But you know what? He'll flush it on you, too. And he nails the third. And Markkinen is showing the aggressiveness you like to see in a guy with his skill set. Somebody who doesn't lack confidence when he shoots the ball. Pass to Monroe. 55 seconds left to play in the first. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Parker, right side. Down low. Alicio, no good. Just doing the job on the backboard. Goes up on the wing, and Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Wright. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. 35 seconds left in the first quarter. Outside, Levine to the paint. Felicio with the bucket. Capable of doing many things well. Levine has a good sense of when his guys roll. There's 25 seconds left here in the first quarter. There's Van Vliet, guarded by Levine. There's Van Vliet, looking for his first basket still in this. Clock is at three. Puts it up from 12. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. contested game so far. Raptors lead by two. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Now a veteran in the NBA, Serge Ibaka, talked about his role on this team. I like to do all those little things, running up and down, blocking shot, and straight to floor, making open shot, you know, rolling the basket screen, you know, those dirty work, I like to do that. And Ibaka, Greg, a great complimentary play. And you like his combination of size and skill, able to impact the game at both ends on a high level. So far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. What do you guys think about the Raptors here in this one? Just playing suffocating defense. That, that's been the difference here for them. And really, for the whole first quarter, they've maintained their intensity. Let's see how long they can sustain. Setting the floor for the Raptors. Leonard and Ibaka are the forward pairing. Then it's Greg Monroe, and it's Wright in a shooting guard. Leonard, a good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Leonard's got six points. With shooting at such a premium in today's game, let's talk aesthetics. Chris, for your money, uh, the, the prettiest jump shot you think going in the league right now? It's four that come to mind and one guy that doesn't play in the league anymore. Let's go with Clay Thompson. You know he can knock it down. Probably the best catch shoot guy in the league. Uh, you got to go to Bradley Field. Beautiful story. And Ray Allen. Oh, they had two of the prettiest strokes you've ever seen. Steph Curry, the mm. flea flicker, how quick it is, is pure, but I got to add one person. Steph Curry's dad. He had a pretty jump shot, too. Dale and Curry. That's, oh, yeah. yeah. And I played against Dale, and it was so quick and so similar to Steph's shot that any time I see Steph, I think of his dad. I used to tell Steph a couple years ago, I think your dad can still shoot better than you, but I, I think he's proven me. <laughs> and on our sideline, our reporter, David Alder. Well, guys, Kyle Lowry is a player who has worked his way to stardom. He says, I still feel like I can be better. I'm never satisfied. My team is good, but I think the best I can be is a champion. There is no other goal in basketball. Guys? DA, that's how you truly create a legacy. 
and those are two teammates right there working in rhythm. One setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. Chicago calls timeout. This, their first look at this year's Toronto squad. And two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. Uh, so uh, we're going to say they're going to be familiar with each other, huh? But, but even so, these teams will learn about each other tonight. So much changes from year to year. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Robin Lopez has checked in for Felicio. Carter comes in for Markinen, And Chris Dunn subbed in for Zach Levine. Carter outside. It's stolen by Lowry. And oh, here we go. Lowry's got the fast break chance. Here's Valanchunas, and it's Valanchunas finishing it off. And that's what makes Lowry a great floor leader, just unselfish in his attitude and great awareness of how to keep his teammates involved. They bucket in in no time at all. And the Bulls lead by three. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Carter. Last break. Here comes Chicago. Here's Dunn. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws shot for the contact goes. right there. And let's check out the stats for Lowry. How last month turned out for him. Averaging nine points per game. Three assists and three rebounds. With him, you get so much, but his ability to lead the way with his scoring, probably his best attribute. Oh, an offensive juggernaut. I mean, he can just beat you in so many ways. You got to give it up for him. Siakam has checked in for Serge Ibaka. Oh, such a field shot there. The floater. 157 left to play here in the second quarter. Lopez passes to Carter. Parker outside. Back to Carter. Out to Parker. Just five on the clock. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by the ref. Siakam's got three rebounds now in this one. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Poke loose. Green, the pass to Valanchunas. Valanchunas with a screen on Dunn. Three-pointer, Lowry buries it from three-point range. Lowry's got his second basket of the night. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song, back and forth. 104 left to play here in the half. Pass to Valanciunas. Here's Van Vliet. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Valanciunas with the ball. Eight points his last outing. Van Vliet with the bucket. And look, the D has to be talking out there. They can't make threes that easy for them. Done outside. Lowry against Dunn. It's deflected, and they're able to recover. And he gets it to go. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Six-second difference between shot and game clock. It's Parker outside. Good on the triple. Parker's got six in the quarter. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Now, here's Lowry. His last outing, he had eight points. He kicks it to Valanciunas. Here's Van Vliet. No good on the buzzer beater. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of basketball. It's the Raptors up by two. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Kyle, a good first half for you all. How do you continue that for the rest of the game? We gotta come out with our energy. We gotta come out and play our game and keep going out there and pushing. Our defense and everybody's low chance, so we're playing together right now. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks. Welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal at 2K Sports. Let's talk first half. The first quarter for the Raptors was fairly even. At the end of the period, they held a two-point lead. The second quarter was dead even in terms of their scoring output for both teams, 
and they still find themselves in a good position at the half. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, they've been pounding. I mean pounding it in the paint. Not just taking the first three-pointer when it came across. That keeps the defense on its toes. And Shaq, what'd you think about Chicago? Well, I didn't even know who some of these guys were, but their bench came up with some big shots. Gave the team a lift offensively. It's always possible guys will see more minutes in the second half, but at the same time, you're a starter. You're a starter for a reason. We shall see, Ernie. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. And Chicago has possession. A two-point game. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Levine and Valentine are the wingmen. Bobby Ford is out there with Robin Lopez. And it's done in at the one spot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Inside and stolen by Valentine. In transition, here come the Bulls. Here's Levine. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Levine's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Bulls. And Robin Lopez, one of those dirty work type of big men, rebounding, defending, not a grit, setting screens. He does it all. Yeah, unselfish. He, he does know his role. It, it just makes things easier for his teammates. Has his quirks, but has proven to be a great teammate. Levine for three. That shot is off. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. And that was a shocker. Hard to believe that they dropped the ball, so to speak, on that one. And probably a tough pill for them to swallow. But it's just a reminder that nothing comes easy in the NBA. I don't care who you're facing. You're not going to win if you're not in Chicago. Levine, Green with the rebound. Having a little bit of trouble at the start of the half. Only one for four from the field. That's tipped. They retain possession. Lowry's shot is good. Time out, time nice out. and steady so far in the second half. They're three for four. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Yeah, and the amount of points they've given up here in the paint, that, that's what they got to talk about. Ooh, this is ugly. No question about it. And you wonder if these matchups aren't favoring them right now. Felicio is checked in for the Bulls. Arkanen comes in for Denzel Valentine. Raptors also changing it up. Greg Monroe, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Waka comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's DeLon right in for Danny Green. Bulls trail by seven. And a wide open look for Portis. Hangs home the trifecta. Portis has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Lowry kicks to Ibaka. Mike sets a screen. Back to Lowry. Three-pointer. But they recover it. And stolen by Portis. Outside Levine. And it's Lowry with the rebound. Not a very consistent quarter for him in terms of the shoot. Hits the three-point bomb. Lowry's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for Toronto. Chicago's gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Portis is screen on Lowry. To the inside. That one's good, and the Raptor lead is cut to just five points in the basket from Portis. Chris, you had a lengthy NBA career. From what you observe, talk about the differences and how various coaches hold practices and, uh, and try to teach. You just want to keep guys motivated. You want guys to listen and then execute. Whatever you can do to get their ear, gain their trust, and then get them to go out there and execute. So if you're on a veteran team, uh, you may have a smaller practice, but with more intensity. I mean, maybe you only practice an hour of live work going back and forth and scrimmaging, whereas if you're a young team, you might be able to expect two hours of scrimmaging every day. Do the players understand the culture? Do they understand the tenets of the offense and the defense? And usually coaches coached by that need and necessity of the team as opposed to just having one structure. So uh, in 
Washington. He had three a days oh. during training camp, as opposed to Sacramento later in my career. Uh, it would be one practice because uh, we're all old. We need to make sure that we get the most <laughs> intensity out of this practice and then save our legs for the game. Carter, he's checked in for Chicago. Jabari Parker comes in for Portis. Leonard, the pass to Ibaka. Back to Leonard. And finished off by Leonard. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. And a tremendous unleashed chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour Hoverhead. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Van Vliet passes to Monroe. Carter pulls it in. Bulls trail by 10. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Okay, against Markinen. Outside Levine. Dunn dishes to Markinen. That's in. Coming off an assist from Dunn. Dunn's got three assists now in this one. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. Who's back up? They shoot again. And the layup good by Abaka. Abaka's got his first basket. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Dunn outside. Inside. Craig Monroe with the rebound. A yeah, good interior D there prevents the deuce. Oh, wonderful anticipation. He reads the play perfectly. Then with the quick reaction time. Well, he's been a safety valve for them on every possession. So dependent. And there's the pass to Markinen. Fires for three. Another three for Chicago. Really, this is Markinen's greatest weapon. A three-point sniper with impressive range. Lowry firing on all cylinders for the Toronto Raptors. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up. 2K Sports, happy to have you with us. Raptors leading by eight. So for Toronto right now, Van Vliet and Green are the guard set. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Siakam in at the power forward position. Chicago has gone 7 of 15 from three-point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. And it's Lopez at the elbow. From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by the Raptors. Siakam's got his sixth rebound on the night. Van Vliet. There's the pick. Passes it to Siakam. Count it. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. This time's checked in for Parker. Here's Dunn. Kicks it to Markinen. Jacks up a three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Dunn. Dunn's got five assists tonight. Another bomb for him right now. His three-point shooting might be the key to cutting that lead. Greg, the way he's firing from three today, they ought to keep right. Thought he was going to be able to take advantage of the D there. He has the space. Shoots the three. And the Bulls, another three. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Van Vliet kicks to Green. Pass to Leonard. 
It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He is seven for nine. He does all the little things. I mean, he does the big things. I mean, he's got them in front with another outstanding performance. Lopez a screen. Takes it out to Markinen. Back to Dunn. Five to shoot. Lopez passes to Valentine. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. And there's the foul. It'll go on Denzel Valentine. That's his first foul. Portis, he's checked in for the Bulls. DeLon Wright, he's checked in for Toronto. On defense, the Bulls, they trail by seven. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Valanciunas. Chicago timeout, calls timeout. timeout. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys, I was able to listen in to what Fred Hoiberg told his team. He knows they struggled at the free throw line, but he actually looked at the positive. He said, if we continue to get to the foul line, good things are going to happen, but we have to keep getting there. Maybe that'll take the heat off him a little. Lopez a screen. Dunn dishes to Lopez. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary penalty. contact. One it's side. a flagrant one foul. And, and Kevin, I got to tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The officials easily could have gone even harder on it. Greg, I agree. He better be on his best behavior from now on. One more flagrant of any variety, and he's out of here. No pass. Now, this guy, he's a reliable role player. A stiff defender and an intelligent shooter as well. Down low, shoots from the right block. Outside Portis. Clock is at three. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Toronto. Raptors leading by five. Siakam kicks to Leonard. Back to Siakam. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Dunn passes to Levine. That's in, coming off an assist from Dunn. And that's now six points for Zach Levine. Toronto's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight, 5-12. Lowry kicks to Leonard. Shoots a fader. In it goes for the eighth time in ten tries. Yeah, and for mid-range, Leonard's jump shot is money. It doesn't matter if it's off the dribble or catch and shoot. He, he never loses his touch. And Levine, here we go. The timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. Staying under control in key moments. I mean, the way Levine handles these important possessions are so impressive. Leonard. Unable to get that one. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. There's no question Dunn is a great athlete, but he must first work on his shooting as well as his pass. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one-possession game. To the paint, and stolen by Valentine. And here's the pass break. Dunn leading the way. Outside Portis, the three, hits the three-point foul. For this final period, they are putting up a ton of shots from deep. Stacks on stacks on stacks. They're looking to stack up some points. They've gotten into a nice move from up the Raptors call time here. They lead by one. And uh, 101 left in the fourth quarter. And now we get the 
chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Kawhi Leonard. And he's just been crushing it from the field tonight, Kevin. Whether it's been on open looks or with the guy draped all over him, he just hadn't missed much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. And uh, 101 left in the game. Let's it go from 11. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. There's Portis. And no good. And a chance to take the lead. I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. Here's Leonard. And again, no good by Toronto. Where he say to himself, no excuse for missing that shot. He's been such a clean look. Portis the screen. Twenty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Valentine. Leonard with the steal. And they foul intentionally. They're gonna have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Th that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. And he commits the intentional foul. It's the first, and that will put them up by two. Uh, and I like how scrappy and aggressive Lowry is on the court. And it's easy to see how much his teammates enjoy playing alongside him. Yeah, how about the nerves there? Those free throws put them in a very good position. Three points clear. Chicago calls timeout. They're trailing by three. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your bucks. You know, you'd love to be able to clear space and get that triple. But you can also do the two with a quick foul. But well, these are some of the toughest decisions. I mean, a good argument can be made for either case. It's the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. You know, there are differing opinions as, as to who the best defensive player in the league is. But no matter what, Kawhi is always in the discussion. Clutch, clutch free throws there. That should ensure they're going home with the W. Dunn passes to Fortis. And so it's Toronto winning this one. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they should.